my god! I'm dead. I am dead. I am dead! You believe this? I'm sitting there hitting his toe and he decides nope. I'm not fast. Hello everyone and welcome to Kemba Mom's Gaming. I am Kemba Mom. Hello, hello, and we are continuing in Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. Now, right now, the imprisoned is um, attacking again. That's why everything's rumbling. So, uh, if we look, we have to go down here again and try to seal them up. So let's go. I think that's the back. Oh no, that's the back over there. All right, let's go. Yeah, this is the this is gonna be fun. This is I really like doing this part. Not. Yeah, here comes the seal. The seal's being opened up again. And of course, Bruce is all freaking out. Whoa, what's with all the shaking? <laughs> the whole ground is heaving. I thought it was supposed to be solid down here. Go quickly, Kepa Mom. Check on the ceiling spike at the center of the pit. There's nothing natural about these tremors. That monster could free itself at any moment. Approach the pit, pit with caution. We'll do. We'll do. Let's go. Yeah, he's gonna come back up. We already know. We already know, we know, we know all is what's gonna happen. Here he comes. Prepare for <laughs> me like, you know, getting beat up about a billion times. Hello. Here it goes, the imprisoned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. I knew it, the seal's given way. I'll explain later, but now's the time for action. We must keep that beast from escaping that pit. It must not reach the temple, I know. Oh, come on. Oh, God. Okay, get out of the way, get out of the way. Yeah, see? I tell myself to get out of the way and then I don't do it. There he goes. Then he moves to the front. You are such an idiot. Okay, I gotta get the car. Oh, come on. What the heck, dude? There we go, it's one. We have to do it three times. Now he's gonna crawl, so I have to get up there quick. Come on, run! Okay, there he is, okay, run. Yeah, when he starts slithering, you wanna get in front of him. All right, let's see what I, what, what's gonna happen now. If I can do anything right. Oh, God. Go run. Got it. Okay, I'm gonna get this one. There we go. Oh, yeah, I wasn't even anywhere near that. Now he's going faster. Come on. The God darn camera. The god darn camera! Thank you! There we go. The camera was being stupid! It was being stupid! 
Oh my god, you idiot. Let's go. There we go, number two. He's gonna slither. Okay, let's um let's go up. Run. Go up by one. Yep, there he is. I don't know how far he's gonna go. Hey, he's still going. Okay, stop. Alright. One more time, guys, one more time. Alright. See? See? Oh my god, dude. Oh yeah! Okay. Oh my god, I'm being stupid. Over this side. Come on! Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Yeah, I'm gonna go in front of him. Try to. Oh, come on, dude. What are you? Okay, there we go. Oh, my God. I'm dead. I am dead. I am dead. You believe this? I'm sitting there hitting his toe, and he decides, nope. You're not gonna get it. You're not, you're, it's not gonna happen. So I have to do it all the frick over again. Stupid. No deaths. Yeah. All right, here we go. Here he comes. Oh! Hello! Nice to know ya. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he's gonna just start taking off here. Yeah, the seal's given away. Explain later. Okay, we got it. Run! Where's that little... Run! Oh, that one's going. Okay, there we go. He's falling. Oh my goodness, guys. Run. Run! There we go, it's one! Oh, this part I really hate. Okay, Slytherin. Okay, we go up by one. Don't! 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 Okay, stop. Yeah, we know the routine. We know the routine. Oh, I'm mad and my toes grew. Okay, run. Run. Not with that. There he goes, and he's falling again. Voila. Let's 
go. Okay. Now he's gonna go a little faster. I gotta go up by one. Okay. Okay, I gotta keep in front. I don't know how far he's gonna go. Come on. There he goes. Okay, run. Because he's gonna go faster now. We already know. Alright, let's go. I, yeah, I see your toes grew. Oh, you son of a Peter. Get our run. See? He lifts up too quick. There we go. Okay, go. Go. Okay. Okay, this is gonna be the hard part. I gotta get in front of him. Okay, turn. Turn! Turn! I hate this camera! Boom. Go. Move. I said move! And he doesn't. Okay, that's one. Yeah! Oh my god! Oh my god! I'm trying to get to this stupid toe! And it's like not doing it! There! Thank you! Oh my gosh! Hey, run! There we go, it should be a... There we go, got it. It's usually three times. Oh. Die already! <laughs> or disappear! So dramatic. There it is. Back into the seal. And then like the happy music happens. Oh, oh, oh. Back in. Yeah, I know. I gotta go up to the bottom and seal him in. Mm. Now kept a bomb. Strike the ceiling spike with a skyward strike and restore the seal quickly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know. A skyward strike. There we go. Uh, he's in prison for just a bit. We know. Dun 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 Voila Okay <laughs> Cruz oh, huh? Nice going Kebba Mom mm. Thought the imprison had had only just begun to awaken and break its bonds. I'm impressed you were able to restore this seal keeping it captive. Though, thought, oh my goodness. Unfortunately, I've only succeeded in buying us a little more time in which to act. The, beh the behemoth you beat back into confinement is a horror of unspeakable peril. Judging by what I saw, I, I would not be surprised if the seal gave away again soon. So you are left with precious little time to complete the task with which you have been entrusted. Return to the sealed temple 
There's must, much to discuss. Yes, ma'am. How'd she get down there so fast? That's what I'm wondering. Look how slow she's like walking. How'd she get down there so fast? Look at Groose. He's just like all upset. He's all heartbroken because he can't be the one to save Zelda. As you can see, the gate is nothing more than a slab of cold stone. For now, it's sleeping. Rousing it from its slumber would require great power. Figures, huh? Figures. All right. Yes, I believe a shot of holy light from your skyward sword might just do it. Uh, sorry to disappoint you, boy, but for now, your sword lacks the power necessary to awaken the gate. First, you and your sword must grow together. Barren Woods, Elden Volcano, and Laranyu Desert. A sacred flame is hidden somewhere in each of these lands. Seek them out and purify your sword with their heat. Only after your blade has been tempered by these three fires will it be fully Im imbued with the great power for which you search. <laughs> Clues to finding the sacred flames have been woven into the lyrics of the song Precious to Your People, the Ballad of the Goddess. These clues are your best hope of finding your way to the flames. Return to Skyloft. Somewhere on your island is one whose knowledge of this old song will point you in the right direction. I think I know who it is. It's not her, even though she sung it. <laughs> He's bad. I hate even saying this, but I guess you got it all figured out, Granny. Me, well, there's nothing I can do help to help Zelda. I'm useless. Okay, one sec, guys. All right. Ah, oh, you sell yourself short, my friend. You'll see in time that you have your own role to play in all this. <laughs> All right, go now. Trust and fate to guide your feet. Your mission depends on it, as does Zelda's fate. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, I heard some. Oh, what's her face? What? <laughs> the Battle of the God is based on my predictions. Projections, sorry. This is likely the song Zelda sang the day of the wing settlement. I calculate that 85% probability that someone associated with the Academy will be able to provide additional information about this song. Oh, you think? It'll probably be her dad. Yes, we're saving because I don't want to do it again. All right, I am going to sit too so I can gain some hearts back. All right, there we go. All right. So we go back out. Yeah, Groose already like left, so. There he is. Ah, oh, come on. I couldn't do a thing. I'm totally useless. Go run and cry. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Poor guy. He'll figure it out. I mean, technically, there's nothing we could do for him. But. Sniff, sniff. I'm a just dead weight. What kind of use is that to anyone? All right. So that's all you do. Okay, uh, what we have to do is go up top here. Uh, 
Where is this stupid thing at? It's way over there, isn't it? Oh, yeah. I made a shortcut. I just totally forgot. I have to go through here and then through the other one. All right. I did have to go through there anyway to continue the, uh, the story a little bit. All right. So I have to go through this door. Because remember, there's a shortcut right there. All right. Made the shortcut right here. Oh. Great Goron, I found some. Uh -huh. oh. Look, those butterflies that respond to beautiful tones are swarming all over this place. This has to be the right spot. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, this could be a problem. I cannot carry a tune. I could not create beautiful tones if wild animals threaten to roll me down a hill. What can we do? All right, so basically what you do, grab X and strum it. That's it. Boing. That's it. One of the talking statues, the ancient text spoke of. There is just no mistaking it. All right, and then you talk. Butterflies tend to gather around gossip stones like myself. If you find a spot swarm with butterflies, play a tune of great beauty and the gossip stone might just pop out of the ground with a boy. All right, that's it. All right, and we go here. And we're going to the sky. I already saved, so I don't need to save again. All right. We're going to go back to Skyloft here, which is right here. I don't know if I can build up anything yet. I'm going to go to the uh, the bazaar. There we go. Yeah, okay. Da -da -da. Okay, we're going in. I just have to see if I can build up to um, anything. Um. Oh, he has a shield. Hang on a second. If you're looking well these days, if I didn't know any better, I'd say you found the time to gather all the variety of magnificent treasures. Come on, come closer. If it's treasure you seek, I'll use my mythical vision to find answers for you. I don't want to. Okay, I want to talk to you. It's a mysterious shield called the Sacred Shield. I suggest you linger and give it a look. All right. I do have 600 rupees, so I got to get rid of them. Ah, that's a Sacred Shield. You might surmise... As you might surmise from its name, it can handle all varieties of attacks. Fire, no sweat. Electricity, no painful zaps. Plus, it will automatically repair itself when it sustains damage. It's a little fragile, but it shouldn't be a problem for one talented as, and agile as yourself. It costs 500 rupees. Yeah, I'll buy it. It pains me to tell you, friend, but it appears your pouch is full. May I suggest? Uh, yeah. Okay. I gotta go put my shield and item check. Hi, Hi, you. Welcome to the item check. Want to put stuff in your pouch? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's anything in your pouch or storage you want to move? Yes. Uh... All right, let's see it. Okay, I'm gonna move the shield to storage. Yeah, see, I only have, I only have like four spots. Okay, I'm finished. All right, thank you. All right, now I can get the shield. All right, we already know about it. There we go, oh, and he's in the way. You big dummy. <laughs> Uh, thank you for your loyal patronage. I've taken the liberty. Place your purchase in your pouch. Please press R. Yeah, I know. There we go. All right. Talk to my buddy here. Oh yeah. Hey, welcome to uh, Scrap Shop. Yeah, we can upgrade gear and make it even stronger. Yep. If your shield takes a beating, no worries. I can fix that too. 
Let's see. I'm gonna see if I can upgrade any gear. I'm not. I'm not sure. Probably don't have what's required, but yeah, I need a bird feather and a dusk relic. Okay. Hornet larvae. Dusk relic. Well, I have enough for that. How about if we do that one? All right. Yes, go for it. Okay. Took all half my freaking rupees, but it's okay. He's Mr. Fix It, man. He's Mr. Fix It, man. <laughs> Are all done? Here you go. So now I carry uh, um, ten bombs. All right. If you've got anything else, yeah. No, I'm done. Oh, thanks, come again, you hear? All right, we will do. All right, so, for now, what we have to do, God darn it. Oh, no, I don't want that. All right, what we have to do is go to the academy. Okay, we can, let's play, because there's butterflies here. No. Okay, there's nothing there. Oh well. Okay. I thought I'd try. God darn it. Okay, we gotta go on the second floor. This is my shortcut. Yeah. Oh yeah, that was a shortcut. Good job, Mom. You're so agile and talented. I rolled right off. That's what I was supposed to do right there. All right. Yeah, I beat up on myself a lot. It's entertainment. Okay. Um. Let me see. Where is? Oh, his office is right. Here. Okay. There, uh, where is he? There he is. All right, let's talk to him. Ooh. What gay Pora? You're back, Kemper Mom. Glad to see you're still in one piece. So how's it going down there? Are you any closer to finding my Zelda? Hell no. Hmm, I see. My dear Zelda, things must be terribly trying for her down there. And it can't be easy for you now either, can it? What? You want to know the lyrics to the song Zelda sang? On the day of the wing ceremony? You know, I'm not much of a singer. Just the lyrics, dude. <laughs> you just want the lyrics? Oh, what a relief. You really put me on the spot there for a moment. I believe the lyrics go something like this. Oh, youth. Guided by the servant of the goddess. Unite earth and sky and bring light to the land. That's the first part, but as I recall, there's a second verse to the song. Ow. Oh, you. Show the two whirling sails the way to the light tower. And before you, a path shall open, and a heavenly song you shall hear. I believe that's the whole thing. The light tower mentioned this song is a real place. I'm sure you've seen the tower in the plaza. I do not know a thing about the two whirling sails though. It sounds like a song is suggesting that if one shows these whirling sails the way to the tower, something will happen. But how do you go about doing that? And what does that mean, two whirling sails? Hmm. All right, I got it, I already know. All right, I'm gonna show you what it means. Mom knows, yeah. All right. So we're gonna go back out. <laughs> All right. I know. Yeah. Okay, so they say to the whirling sails and the light tower. All right. We boom. All right. Let's go. Now, I, I you know, this was not really one of my favorite Zelda games. Okay. 
these are whirling sails and there's the light tower right there. So what I'm gonna do is take out this. There you go. And you're gonna face it to the light tower. See, and it lights up. All right, now there's another windmill, which is right there, see it? But you're gonna find out from there what, what will happen, you'll see. All right, we're gonna go up here. Up here. Da. And you see our fix it guy here. And he knows there's not a whirly thingy on there. So we're gonna talk to him. Mm. Hey, come on, mom. Still no sign of Kurt Carell. Even I'm starting to get a bit whirly. I know where she is. I'll do it later. I keep, help keep an eye out for her, all right? All right, and then you're gonna go here, I guess. Hey. He goes, what's up? So you're curious about that windmill, eh? Pretty smart design, I gotta say. See, you can turn the windmill so that it always catches the wind no matter which way it's blowing. But well, there used to be a little propeller attached to the windmill so that you could turn it. The thing flew off ages ago and it must have dropped down off the edge down beneath the clouds. The windmill's been useless sitting there ever since. I highly suggest you retrieve the windmill propeller from the land below to reorient the windmill. You think, Fee? You think? Fee, you're so smart. You want to know if I could fix the windmill if you brought it back the propeller? Well, if I had the propeller, I could probably rig something together to get it back there. On there, sure. But how would you even go for looking for the propeller in the first place. When something falls through the ground, it's gone for good. Hang on. Come to think of it, Gondo at the scrap shop told me that something in his family used to, family once used a flying robot to haul junk back from beneath clouds. But we're talking about a tale that's been passed down over a lot over the years. Uh, passed down over a lot of years. What is wrong with my reading? So I wouldn't put much stock into it. My reading is off. All right, so we're gonna talk to him. So we gotta go back to Gondo. All this walking around, I know. But yeah, I mean, I, I love all the Zelda games and, and when I played this on the Wii, I wasn't really a fan of it. Um, right now on the Switch, it's pretty good because I don't have to use, like, um, the Wii controllers or anything like that, so. Hey. hey, kid, what's up? You look like you need something off your chest. I think I know what it is. You've got a favor to ask me, right? Yep. Huh? Huh? It's about this old robot my grandpa used to tinker around with. You probably just came here to make fun of the crazy junk guy for believing his grandpa's stupid stories, right? Well, get in line. I've heard it before. Wait, that's not why you're here? You say you need to pick up something from below the clouds with this robot? Do you know what that means? That means you believe my grandpa's stories too, don't you? Well, I'm happy to hear that someone else believes me, but I don't think I can help you. You see, my grandpa's old robot, what's it called again? Scrapper. I remember. Yeah, his name is Scrapper. He may not be much to look at these days. But he was an amazing robot once. When you called him, he would go anywhere and hold anything. Sadly, as you can see now, he's just another busted old hunk of junk. Well, old Gramps did tell me this. You can get him working again with the extract from an ancient flower. Like, it's like oil to this guy. I have an ancient flower. That's why I told you guys to pick those up. But I've never heard of, much less seen any such thing. Take mine. Ooh. What, you have one? Are you kidding me? That's amazing. That's why you want to pick them up. If not, you'd have to go back down to Loranyu and, and uh, get more. 
So this is an ancient flower. I can feel some slick, oily stuff coming out of its stem. Great. Uh, with this, we can fix Scrapper. Wait right here. I'll have him up and running in no time. You need to fix it because he's gonna be he's gonna be instrumental in picking stuff up. Ooh, Ooh my shoulder. There you go. There he is. Bing, 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 bing. He's all happy. I'm working. Look how happy he is. Thank you, Berserk. I got a full tank of energy and I'm ready to carry anything. <laughs> huh? Who's this green cloud individual of small stature? Whoa, I ta it talked. Can you believe that? I guess I really did fix him. This kid gave me the materials I needed to fix you. Go on, you say thank you. Um, are you sure it was him? Well then, I extend my reluctant thanks to you in a gesture of obli obliga obligatory gratitude. Hey, now watch it. That's no way to talk to someone who just saved your life. Anyway, this kid wants you to haul some stuff around, and you're going to help him. Huh, this individual may have restored my operations, but I am not inclined to offer assistance. What a jerk! He's not even thankful. Serving children is very low in my task priorities. Master Kempamon. Materials from this windmill have yielded a signal that may search that you may search with your dowsing ability. Use it to locate the fallen propeller. Alright. I know where it is. However, it will not be possible to carry the item in your pouch and return to the sky. Who are you? Yeah, see, he likes her. Your name is Fee? Should I call you Mistress Fee? Are you looking for something, Mistress Fee? He likes her. I I understand. At your request, I will carry anything regardless of weight to destination. Or destination. Master, we now have the means to bring back the propeller back to Skyloft. You may immediately bring in your search for the windmill propeller. Master Short Pants. <laughs> I offer assistance. I can now detect Miss, uh, Mistress Fee's thought waves. Should you need me, ask Mistress Fee to call me and I'll arrive with haste. All right. So how do you plan to recover all the stuff that fell beneath the clouds? You know, you could always ask the fortune teller over there. I know he's kind of goofy looking, but when it comes to finding things, he always right on the money. I don't need him because I already know where it is. Now, if you don't know, then you would talk to him. All right, Dows. It's over there. Okay. So, I already know. Just to let you know, it's in the Elden area. Remember, I showed you guys in one of the videos. I said we're going to need something this later, right? Remember? So, if I use the Dows, watch. It's right there. Okay, let's go. Yeah. Why does it do that? Stupid controller. I don't know why it does that. It ticks me off. Whee! Okay, let's go. I gotta remember where it is. Alright, one, one second. Um... Okay, I know where it is. All right, so a uh, report master is possible to descend a specific bird statue service after you've already visited it, and I have memorized its location. To do this, point to the area you want to descend with with that and a and press A to confirm your destination. So we're gonna go to the temple entrance. Descend to this area, yes. Don't forget to use your parachute. All right. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go over here. And if you notice, there's butterflies there. See them? I don't know if I can get up here. <laughs> dig. Oh, not that. I meant to say dig and I and I hit the I hit the uh, A button. I mean the X button, not A X. Alright, um,
right here. I knew there was something. I wanna, I wanna get the up there. So there we go. Oh look, look what we have here. Okay, get all the way. Get all the way. Ah! Ah! Goddess cube. What do you know? Okay, let's get rid of this. Get rid of this goddess cube. Put it up in the sky. There we go. See, I couldn't get to that because I didn't have the bombs. Well, I did, but you know. All right. Um, right here. So let's take it out. Take it out. There we go. Boing. He gave me some Elden. Let me see what he says. I've heard some of the goddess cubes unlock all sorts of treasure when you fly up in the sky. Some even hold a piece of heart. Yes, we know. All right. So we're good. Okay. Now, remember that I said we had to go down there, see the propeller? That's where you're going. That's why you want to take you take this down. And remember I said we're going to need this later? This is why we need it. This is the windmill propeller you are searching for. It is now possible to retrieve this using the robot whose services we have enlisted. Would you like me to call the robot? No. Yeah, I'm going to carry it. I will send word to the robot using telepathic transmission, Master. Get down here. Here it comes. Isn't that wonderful? This is great. Do 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 do. Mistress Fee, I hope I weren't, you weren't waiting long. So, Brazier, you want me to carry this? Hey, Master Short Pants, you're in my way. <laughs> I said get out of the way. Master Short Pants. I'll be waiting for you up in the sky, so don't take long. And there he goes. Master, I suggest that we also return to the sky and collect the propeller. Yeah, you think? Thanks, V. All right, so. God dang. Oh, so we got to run. We're going to have to. Oh, we're going to have to run up here. Okay, we're ready. Go. Oh, that was almost a fail. All right. That was almost a fail. Okay, so let's go. To this guy. Oh, to this guy. No, I don't want to return this guy. That's why I said yes. <laughs> oh, these games are so funny. Are you sure? No. Yeah. All right. All right, there he is. See? My buddy's here. You automatically drop where um, you're supposed to go. That's the cool thing. And here he comes. He's going to drop it. Here's that windmill propeller. Is up to death. <clears throat> if you need me, Clang, feel free to call. Yep. For Mistress Fiala, will travel to any destination. Is there, does it? Of course, because he likes her. Whoa, isn't that the beat up old robot from Grondo's place? Grondo's place. Wait, just a second. Is that? It is. That's the windmill propeller. That thing was supposed to be falling down below the clouds. Are you saying the whole story handed down through Grondo's family was actually true? Somehow I get the feeling this is some elaborate prank, but I, I guess I'll try to fix this thing. This goes here and just clank and a few clicks. I like it just has a hammer. <laughs> just a hammer. You can fix anything. Whew. That ought to do it. If you can find some way to spin the propeller, you can probably turn the windmill around. Hey! Honey, honey. Oh, no. I just remembered I'm supposed to be looking for her. Or, 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 or whatever. 
Catch you later, Kepa Bomb. If you happen to see Kukil, let me know, all right? Yeah, I know where she is. I'll do that on my own. All right, so we got the propeller. Now we're just gonna get our gust bellows, which I had problems with the last few uh, videos. And we turn the windmill. So we're gonna have to turn it a long way. We have to turn it towards the light tower. There we go. Got it. Look at this. Oh, wow. Wow. All right. Now we got to go back over there. It's a light tower. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. That was, that was the score, wasn't it? I amaze even my sale. All right. I end up hitting the building. That was pretty funny. All right, let's go to the light tower. Dun 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 dun. Yeah yeah yeah. Okay, up the ladder. Are we having fun yet? I'm having fun. All right, let's go. I know this like takes forever. Yeah, I could leap through if I wanted to. All right, uh, it says, what is this? Oh, I know. So I gotta get the goddess thing out. Okay, from. Okay, we gotta do it to the beat. Oh, is she gonna sing? She gonna sing. Okay. Well. I love the bass. Okay, it's turning. Into the thundercloud. That's where we gotta go. Wow. It says, Master, there is a high probability that this beam of light will lead us <laughs> to clues of the whereabouts of the three flames. I recommend that you investigate what lies at the end of the beam of light. Well, thank you, Fee. Thank you for your concern and and uh, beautiful singing. All right. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, we're gonna save really quick because I don't want to do all that again. Okay, guys, I'm gonna end it there. Um, the next video we will be going into the thundercloud okay so you know what to do guys hit that like button it helps me with the youtube algorithm also hit the subscribe the bell so you know when i upload again uploads are going to be a little bit sporadic because i'm getting ready for surgery so just uh you know i'm gonna get them up as soon as i can guys all right thank you for watching all my videos and i will see you in the next one bye all